Deep inside the male body, there is a moment so brief, yet so meticulously orchestrated, that most people never realize how much hidden machinery bursts into action beneath the surface. A moment in which nerves, glands, and muscles align with near military precision to drive a single outcome, release. But the simplicity we see from the outside is misleading, almost deceptive, because what appears instantaneous is actually the peak of a biological storyline already in motion long before the first pulse is felt. A storyline built on pressure, timing, and reflexes the conscious mind cannot override. And the truth is, ejaculation isn't merely a reaction to pleasure. It's an internal shift of the entire system, a coordinated transition in which the sympathetic nervous system, the prostate, the seminal vesicles, and the urethra all negotiate their roles in real time, forming a deeper mechanism far more complex than anyone expects. Inside this mechanism, the nervous system behaves like a hidden conductor, tightening muscles in precise rhythms, opening and sealing valves at split-second intervals, and sending microscopic instructions through pathways faster than the brain can translate. The body blocks urine to protect sperm, redirects chemical flow, reallocates pressure, and activates circuitry designed solely for this moment. Each structure, from the vas deferens to the pelvic floor, takes its cue contributing to a process engineered to be both forceful and protective. This raises the real question. What actually happens in that fraction of a second when semen is propelled outward? And why does the body engage so many systems just to make it possible? To answer that, we have to go beneath the surface, into the reflex loops, muscular surges, and biochemical shifts that define the internal choreography of male ejaculation. Let's go inside. To understand what truly unfolds during ejaculation, we have to slow down a sequence the body performs at blinding speed, a sequence that begins with arousal, but operates far below conscious awareness. Deep in the pelvis, structures that normally work independently begin to converge into a collaborative system, shifting function, chemistry, and mechanical behavior to support a single physiological goal. The story starts with the foundational architecture of male reproduction. The testes manufacture sperm through an ongoing process of cellular division and maturation, while the epididymis provides the finishing school, where each sperm cell learns its final form. The vas deferens serve as muscular conduits, capable of powerful peristaltic contractions, ready to send sperm upward when the nervous system gives the command. Above them, the seminal vesicles hold reservoirs of nutrient-rich fluid, largely fructose, that will later become the energy source for sperm. And at the center of the system sits the prostate, a gland designed to adjust pH, activate enzymes, and shape semen into a viable medium for survival. Although all of these elements connect to the urethra, the urethra itself is not neutral terrain. In everyday function, it is a urinary channel, and its environment is far too hostile for sperm. For ejaculation to become possible, the body must change modes, shifting from a urinary pathway to a reproductive one. This shift is not gentle. It is sudden, driven by the autonomic nervous system and executed through a spinal reflex that operates independently of conscious choice. During arousal, signals travel from the brain down through the spinal cord and into the pelvic nerves, increasing sympathetic activity. This sympathetic surge is not the same as panic, but it uses similar biological infrastructure, rapid mobilization, smooth muscle engagement, intensified signaling. While the mind focuses on pleasure, the reproductive system quietly begins its mechanical preparation. This marks the entry into the first major stage of ejaculation, emission. In the emission phase, internal structures start loading, 
The bladder neck, a circular muscle at the base of the bladder, clamps shut with remarkable force, sealing off urine and preventing backflow into the bladder, a phenomenon the body cannot risk. At the same time, the vas deferens flex rhythmically, pushing sperm upward toward the prostate. The seminal vesicles contract, adding their fructose-rich fluid. The prostate releases its alkaline secretions, shifting the chemical environment toward one that sustains sperm and counters the acidity of the urethra. All these contributions merge in the prostatic urethra, forming semen. The urethra fills gradually, creating pressure. This internal pressure is not random. It is essential. The system relies on it to signal the next stage. Stretch receptors within the urethra activate, sending sensory information into the spinal cord. And when those signals hit a certain threshold, the spinal reflex responsible for expulsion is triggered, whether the conscious mind is ready or not. This transition into the expulsion phase is where the body becomes almost mechanical in precision. The bulbospongiosis muscle, a band of skeletal muscle wrapped around the base of the penis, begins to fire in rapid bursts. Each contraction lasts under a second, and each one acts like a piston, pushing semen through the urethra in rhythmic spurts. These contractions usually occur about every 0.8 seconds, a timing pattern consistent across humans, driven by motor neurons that are temporarily freed from higher level interference. During these pulses, additional adjustments occur deep within the pelvis. The urethra shortens slightly due to muscular engagement reducing the distance semen must travel. The pelvic floor muscles stabilize the region, creating a firm platform to support the pressure wave pushing forward. Internal valves maintain one-way flow. Every structure synchronizes under the command of a neural pattern generator located in the spinal cord, a cluster of circuits designed to execute this sequence with perfect timing. While the spinal cord conducts the physical mechanics, the brain shapes the emotional and sensory impact. Dopamine rises to reinforce anticipation and reward, amplifying the sense of urgency leading into release. Oxytocin surges, fostering warmth and emotional connection, even in situations where emotion may not be consciously present. Endorphins flood the system, blunting discomfort and layering the moment with a sense of relief. These biochemical shifts are not afterthoughts. They represent the brain's way of integrating the experience into memory, bonding, and behavior. During the final seconds before ejaculation, something fascinating happens in the prefrontal cortex, the region responsible for judgment, control, and self-monitoring. Activity decreases. It does not shut down, but it quiets, allowing the spinal reflex to operate without interference. This is why the moment feels involuntary, instinctive, and unavoidable. The brain temporarily gets out of the way, so the body can follow its deeply embedded program. As the final contraction approaches, the internal valves remain closed to backward flow. The pelvic muscles grip with their strongest pulses and the fluid pressure reaches peak force. When the last wave passes, the system begins its immediate reset. The bladder neck stays closed for a moment longer, ensuring safety. The prostate releases any residual fluid. The urethra, having just carried a forceful surge, clears itself and relaxes. This resolution phase is not dramatic, but it is essential. It marks the body's exit from the reflex sequence and the beginning of recovery. What makes this entire mechanism extraordinary is not the force of release, but the coordination behind it. Dozens of structures, glands, muscles, and neural pathways align within seconds, responding to signals that travel faster than thought, assembling a sequence evolved over millions of years. And yet, even here, 
with everything completed, the process is not truly over. Something deeper is about to happen, a shift not in movement, but in state. Because the climax of ejaculation is not simply the expulsion of semen, it is what follows, the transformation of the nervous system itself. When the body completes ejaculation, what remains is not emptiness, but recalibration, a return to internal balance after a moment of intense coordination. Beneath the stillness, the nervous system quietly shifts its state, stepping down from sympathetic urgency into a slower, more restorative rhythm. Heart rate eases, breath deepens, and the internal circuitry that moments ago was firing in rapid succession now settles into silence. This transition is not merely physical. It is an adjustment of chemical signals, neural pathways, and sensory interpretation. Dopamine levels fall gently, reducing the drive that built pressure in the first place, while oxytocin and endorphins continue to circulate, softening the system, grounding the experience, and giving the body a sense of completion. Prolactin rises as a biological marker of closure, guiding the system into its refractory period, a temporary state designed not to limit the body, but to protect its resources. In these quiet moments after release, the pelvic organs return to their baseline roles. The bladder neck loosens its seal. The prostate reduces its activity. The urethra resumes its ordinary function carrying urine instead of reproductive fluid. Muscles that worked in rapid rhythmic bursts now relax into their resting tone. Every part of the mechanism turns inward, finishing its tasks, restoring equilibrium. Yet what lingers most is the reminder of how much internal coordination a brief external moment requires. Ejaculation from start to finish demonstrates the sophistication of the human body, not through spectacle, but through timing, reflex, and communication between systems that rarely stop to explain themselves. What seems instantaneous is, in truth, a complex negotiation among hormones, nerves, and muscular patterns, each piece contributing its part with quiet precision. And in this, there is a larger reflection. The body is always speaking, always signaling, always balancing its internal worlds to support even the smallest actions. Ejaculation is simply one example, a window into how instinct and engineering converge, how the nervous system and the endocrine system share responsibilities, and how deeply the body commits to every biological event. In the stillness after release, we are reminded that the body's deepest work is often invisible, hidden beneath sensation, beneath narrative, beneath awareness, yet essential to the continuity of life itself.